In May of 2019, three members of the Media One creative team were sent to Africa to film a new spot for World Vision. After a week of shooting, they brought back some amazing footage and chronicled the entire experience. Action camera. Things are going really well. It's chaos. This is their story. When shooting internationally, it always comes with its own set of challenges. You know, there's an awful lot of things that can go wrong when traveling to a continent such as Africa, but it's also by far the most rewarding kind of production to do. It's, it's amazing to travel and to see more of the world, and to get to do that for such a meaningful cause is very much the epitome of, of why you do what you do. The first three days of traveling were quite a blur. We traveled for close to 30 hours to get to a location. Then we needed to collect our sufficient permits, our visas for entering the country, um, and then make sure that we were there for a layover to get to the actual location in Gondor when we traveled from Addis. We're limited by how much we can carry as sort of a, a smaller crew. So my big fear was that when we got there, we'd be missing gear and it wouldn't survive the really difficult conditions we were putting it through. Where are we at, Andy? We just got to the Gondar Emperor Teuwandros Airport. Short little flight on that tiny little plane over there. It was a nice and easy one. Look at that. We got all our bags. Every single one. It was a relief to arrive, but we knew we had a lot of work ahead of us. Dan, where are we going today? What's going on? We're going to do some location scouting for uh, the middle part of our shoot. I think we're going to look at three different scenes worth of locations. It's our first day of actual scouting, so hopefully there's no surprises. And if there is, at least we got a full day to figure it out. I filmed in the Philippines and Cambodia for an extended period of time. I was aware that whatever we were told here in Canada probably wasn't going to be the situation going in. With traveling, filmmaking in general, but particularly when traveling, it's an adventure. You have no idea what you're going to run into, but that's okay. You kind of just trust your instincts and just keep plowing forward. Hey Ken, so what were you expecting when uh, you got in the car? Not this. This is amazing. It goes on, as, uh, as you can see, as far as the eye can see. It is a, a blend of being absolutely gorgeous and truly terrifying, the trip down. When you look over and you're like, there's no guardrails, and you're two or three feet before a thousand foot drop. <laughs> yeah. it, but it's gorgeous, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. How much further are we going? Like half hour? Uh, I think the uh, like, total was like 100 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's been an amazing ride so far. <laughs> So, uh, Lean, we just did our, our tech scout at the school. Yeah. How did that go? We were fairly swarmed by uh, by kids. Yeah. And we were trying to obviously like check out the scout and stuff to um, prep our shot. And uh, we had to like lock ourselves in a classroom. And then the kids started like banging the Pounding door them. and like climbing the windows to go in. Uh, I will say, I will say that um, out of every we've been in Ethiopia, that the number one attraction is Ken's biceps. <laughs> People, doesn't matter where we go, someone goes, hey, big biceps. And oddly enough, gets me no attention at home. Yeah, <laughs> like zero. So this is our setting for our first shot. We're just here set up for our first location. It's super sunny. Uh, and we just gotta build a camera so we can actually see what the hell is going on. So this is actually kind of cool. Um, I feel like we're going full indie filmmaker on this shoot, which I really enjoy. We're shooting on GH5 with a Sigma 18-35. It's really small, compact. Hey Andy, what you doing here, friend? Filling up some sandbags. There's still a little bit of wind, and it's going to be knocking our stands over. So we need the added weight to hold them down. Taking a lot out of me. Yeah. World Vision as a brand is a long-term solution. Their primary goal is not to be first responders, it's to engage lasting change in communities. So our task from a creative standpoint was to try and highlight how one person's life can change from frequent donations. The idea was simply how to show that when you donate goats to a family, that it has a long-term, far-reaching, beneficial effect. That was the original ask. To depict where this goat was going to enrich, uh, we picked a single character's life over a certain period of time. And the way that we were going to do this was uh, through a series of match cuts. The end result would look like the camera was pulling back on a track from one actress to another as she aged throughout her life. Hot work. 
Okay, we head back and we go to lunch and then we'll... We're just going to break for a few messages. <laughs> the program over Zoom later. Yeah. <laughs> where are we? What's going on? We're hanging out in the World Vision ADP office, right next to where we're shooting. It's literally so hot that we have to just go inside for a while to wait for uh, the sun to be more like optimum for our lighting. We have everything set up, but we need to just like literally just fall out for a little bit. And how's, how's the shooting going this morning? It's pretty stressful actually, there's a lot. We're trying to figure out an awful lot. Like We're trying to figure out the entire movement and uh, it's just weird, like, even if, I feel like I'm on the moon or something. Every step, well, with like all the equipment, I'm just come back like broken in sweat. <laughs> Oh man, that's amazing. I love potatoes. Oh, well. there, was a, there was a family in Ireland that I'm just reacting <laughs> to that. How was lunch? Uh, lunch is good, I'm refreshed, I'm recharged, I'm good to go. We had planned to shoot you know, uh, almost everything at golden hour, which is sort of between 4 to 6 p.m. when the light is at its most um, beautiful. And we were completely rained out uh, on our first day. We got one shot off, and this happens. Right up there. Here we are on set. <laughs> Things are going really well. We really, really, really hope it passes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One I'm more nervous. shot to go. I know, I'm nervous though. I am nervous. So that was quite alarming to me that our schedule was so destroyed. It really threw the whole project in jeopardy for me, and I was quite, quite nervous about the rest of our schedule. Yeah. <laughs> but we got some, it looks good what we got. Yeah. We went we look better in the sunset, but we still got some good stuff. We were in a field and we're told if you don't leave now, you'll be stuck here all night because your jeeps just will not be able to exit the premises. We didn't even get the shot. We filmed the rehearsal. We were very lucky to get what little footage we did get. So we left that location feeling like, oh my God, if this is any indication of what the rest of the shoot's gonna be, we're in real trouble. In the next behind the scenes episode. Uh, we just finished our second shot of the day. Things went terribly wrong again. This is a pretty tough thing. We were going on the market and uh, we're kind of worried about uh, safety. All of the power went out. Now we're sitting here in the dark. That's what we're dealing with every day mm -hmm. in Africa. We had an outdoor shoot schedule for every single day. We've doubled our output. We've got two shots. <laughs> yeah. We literally cannot catch a break. 